So today I'm going to share a wild tree recipe with you. It sounded very, very intriguing to me. And so I posted it, oh, last week or so on my Facebook page. And I thought, you know, I'm going to make this all the ingredients I love. And it just seemed like a no brainer for me to go ahead and show you and bring you along. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, gosh, it's a deviled egg recipe, but it's very, very interesting. So it's got a twist to it. So if this inspires you to go ahead and stay with me, uh, and I hope it does, um, go down in the show more box below, hit my wild tree link, go over there, do some shopping, check out recipes, whatever you'd like. And then also next to that, I have my Facebook page, go over there and like that page, join in on the conversation, get posts every time I post someone else's video or share something over there and join in on that conversation with everyone else. All right, guys. So let's go do these interesting twisted doubled eggs from Wild Tree. Come on. All right, guys. This is probably the easiest recipe you'll ever see me do. I honestly, this couldn't be any easier. So what I'm going to do is, and I've already got some of this started for you. I've got um, four egg yolks or in here. And I, I'm missing one half. It kind of broke and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna eat it. And we'll overfill these. So it's not a big deal if that happens. <clears throat> and this is just gonna be for uh, a couple of us to enjoy. So it's not a big deal. Now, four egg yolks, one avocado. Oh my gosh, how easy is that? You want a ripe avocado that will be easy to actually um, get in there and smush up, if that's a word, smush. And if there's any dark brown around the edge there, because this has been waiting for me to do this, just grab that out of there, it's not a big deal. Take a spoon and go in here and get all that flesh out of your avocado skin. And this one's good and ripe, so I'm gonna get my seed out of there. And grab this, and this one has a spot, so I'm just going to grab this. So you're just, it's avocado, egg yolk, and the avocado, now we've turned um, healthy because of the avocado. Uh, mayonnaise is oil and egg yolk, so we need to use mayonnaise. You're doubling up on the yolk, which is doubling up on the cholesterol. And you're also doubling up on um, oil that may not be healthy oil. So avocado oil is a good fat for you, any oil that's in this. Okay, so then I have uh, Wild Tree's Dill Dip Blend. And because this is a Wild Tree recipe, that's why we're using this. But it's fabulous. And you want one teaspoon of that. And if you've never had dill on your um, hard boiled eggs, or let's say you do a, a little brunch thing with some salmon, smoked salmon, and eggs, oh my gosh, it's delicious. So let's get this all incorporated. And I'm just going to keep working this with my fork because this avocado is nice and. Um, Nice and ripe, and I'll be right back, and we'll start. All right, guys. So now we've got our um, egg mixture all mashed up with the avocado and the dill dip blend. And now I'm gonna actually I put a piping uh, applicator tip on a quart size bag, and I'm just gonna spoon this right in there. And we'll make them pretty because these were so easy. I kind of feel guilty. So, super easy to do, obviously. I mean, and I'm, I'm really anxious to try this. Uh, it sounds delicious because I really love to make deviled eggs with smoked salmon and some dill on there. And so it, it sounds fabulous, actually. I love all the ingredients. Okay, so now I've got my avocado mixture down in my piping bag. 
and we're just going to pipe that right in there. Let's make sure you can see well enough because I don't want you to miss out on any of this. Let's see. Yeah, hold on a second. Okay, let's pipe this in there. So it's nice that this is a nice creamy consistency, you know, with the avocado and the egg yolk. Look how pretty. These would be great for uh, barbecue, summer barbecue. Uh-oh, got a clog here. Must be a chunk of avocado. So let me fill the rest of these before I have an explosion here on my hands. <laughs> and I'll uh, bring you back when they're all filled. All right. Wow, look quick. how pretty those are. These are beautiful. And then you're going to top them off just with a couple pieces of sprouts. That's what the recipe calls for. And these are sprouts that I did myself. Um, and I've been kind of on a sprouting binge lately because they're so good for you. And you could do them without the sprouts, actually. I might leave a couple of them blank. But just a couple. Get some extra greens in there. What a healthy uh, little hors d'oeuvre. And how fun All to right, serve it up for a taste test. I am excited. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to feel quite as guilty about this. Let me get one of these up here. Out of that. Pretty. Now, look at how pretty that is. Let me make sure you can see that. Isn't that beautiful? It is just a picture. little nest on top and the avocado. Mmm. Okay. Let's take a bite. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm. That is amazing. If you like avocados and you like eggs, you're going to love this. It is absolutely wonderful. It has that little background of the dill dip blend that seasons it perfectly. You do not need salt and pepper. You don't need anything else. Um, and it's creamy and smooth and it's just very different. It's actually gonna be one of my go-to recipes in the springtime when the avocados are in season because this is really, really good. So I would think that if you're going to keep it for any length of time, you might want to add just a little bit of citric acid to keep them from browning. It wouldn't take much and it wouldn't take enough to change the recipe or the flavor, but these are delicious. I hope it inspires you to try something new because these are what's new on the menu at our house. And um, if you'd like to get 20% off your online orders every time you shop. All right, guys, as always, God bless.